Hi girls, I'm back with our tutorial 3B on um, teaching you how to paint the leaves. So last time, yes, we did the stem and then we did that leaf be, um, just behind the other leaf. And I still mentioned that once it's dry, we're just going to kind of go over that little vein just to darken it a bit. But not all the way, just also to make it look a bit 3D. Right, just that section and then it's lighter on the top. Excellent. So what I wanted to show you is in, in case any of you have painted the little sunflower bud on the top, and the, if, if, you, if you haven't painted it yet, you, you don't have to. Like I say, a lot of the girls at school have actually erased theirs because there just isn't enough time to, to paint them as well. But in case you have painted them orange, I just want to show you the these bottom leaves are, are the little um, leaves that hold the, the bud and they are green just this section here is green these these little leaf shapes here at the bottom a lot of girls get confused and also paint them um, orange or yellow thinking that they are also that it's a whole sunflower but it's actually the the kind of the leaves opening and the bud appears there we go and then those are little petals so we paint them all very easy. Again, just the same way that we've painted our petals. We, um, we put the one color down and then we're going to go with a darker color. I'm going to go with the darker green there, that I've, the green that I've mixed with, with the blacks. There we go. So just at the bottom section and then I'll clean my brush and then I'll take the uh, I'll clean my brush and I'll dry it very well and I'll just I don't want to take the green up too far so I'm going to actually the dark green so I'm going to take that lighter green and push it down rather and blend it in like that and then I'll Take the neon green and right at the tip they just pull it down. So have a lovely little 3D leaves there. Okay. Now these are so small we're not doing the ziggy zaggies on them. Okay, then we're going to do the same here. Paint it darker at the bottom. If you've got too much paint, get rid of the excess. Clean your paintbrush and then we're going to drag down like that. There's still a lot. So I'm actually going to take some of my, my lighter green and from the top just pull it down a bit. Also making it slightly different tone from that leaf next to it. Clean the brush. Great, now for dry brush. Now I'm going to take my neon yellow and then we do the same with obviously the other one as well, which I have to do now because it is wet. If, you're, if, you, if your paint dries, you just paint over it again and then to do get that wet in wet effect. can take a bit of the neon and just drag it down a bit just to show that these leaves are too separate that they don't kind of blend together tonally there we go and then the last one and then i'll we'll paint the stem oh and and also we'll just i'll introduce the sky to you today as well so this is definitely the last lesson and i'm looking so forward to seeing your beautiful sunflower paintings Please could you, I will let you know when you must bring them in because I need to frame them for our, because I've got too much there, for our virtual art exhibition girls. So I will send you a notification. 
Let me take the lighter green, pull it down. These are such small little leaves. There we go. And now I'll take the neon yellow right at the top and then drag that down. Excellent. There we go. Right. We blend it in nicely. So there we go. And then we'll paint our stem. Let me just use which brush? Um, a small, there we go. Let's paint the stem. Can you see? Yes, great. These are lovely colors. Because, I mean, if it gets tricky, you can change to your smaller round brush. Great. And then just pull it up. And then we're going to do a tiny bit of because it's because it's darker at the top the the green tone we can um we'll also just blend it in clean the brush excellent take a bit of this darker green oh it's quite a lot let's put a bit back on the palette and then we're just gonna Pull it down a bit. There we go. And then we're going to go to the. Actually, let's take some of this yellow. Why not? Let's make put a bit of yellow for a change. So it's a variety. Yeah. Because it is a young little bud. So the stem will be it's a little bit more yellow green. And we can add a bit of yellow up there as well. So there you can experiment as an artist. Hey, use your artistic license. You can find your own technique too, girls. You don't have to kind of follow everything as if it's set in stone, what I'm saying. Of course, I'm giving you the foundations. But then from there, if you can... See if you develop your own style in doing it. Actually, Ashley's developed a lovely own style. You see how she's color blended her her leaves, which is beautiful. Okay, there we go. So yes, so we're just doing it a little bit darker down here because it's behind the the sunflower petals. So always, if something is behind something else. Sunflower, you always make it a little bit darker so it pops out and then so it looks 3D because we need to create that 3D effect. Okay, and then we add a bit of yellow. Great. So now you carry on with your little leaves there and you know what to do. Let me just show you this one again. So you can think, oh, if you want to maybe add a bit of darker there. Just create another 3D effect. Let me just erase these, these dark pencil marks a bit. And then I'll paint the leaf for you. And the sky. And then maybe I'll just paint a few more sections in here as well so there we go so we're taking the yellow making the stem of the veins in yellow I'm not going to paint the whole leaf just one section okay then we're taking our bigger paint brush painting with the lighter green 
There we go. If you feel more comfortable to just do it with your, oopsie, sorry about that, with your smaller, rounded paintbrush, you're welcome to. Okay. There we go. Little ziggy zaggies. Excellent. And then we take our darker paint again. Oops, let me just draw this here. And go in the center there. Give it a bit of depth. There we go. And then our neon right here on the edges. Just to create that nice 3D effect. Excellent. There we go, girls. Right, and then you know that also afterwards you can just take a thin, like a tile of water, just not too watery, but not thick paint, and then you're just going to put like a wash over your yellow vein so it doesn't look too flat. Okay, but not right at the end. Right, girls. So now I'm looking and I'm deciding. Oh, it would be nice if this could be a little bit lighter up there. So now I'm going to add a bit more neon. There we go. Yeah, like I mentioned, like I mentioned, with acrylic paint, you can layer it and build it up because it's got plastic in it and. You paint over it, the colour underneath kind of won't dissolve. It's like oil painting. The only thing is oil painting takes longer to dry and it's a different texture. But once it's dry, you also paint over it and what's underneath doesn't um, kind of dissolve like in water paint, watercolour paints. Excellent girls, so I'll be back in a jiffy. Hi girls, I painted a few more sections, the negative spaces which are behind the stems and the leaf, I painted just to show to you, that's almost, yes, that, that's one tone of green, so you don't actually have to color blend there, there I did do color blending, I think you saw me paint that, and here as well, I did a tiny bit of color blending, but as long as the sections next to one another, have a different color green so that they stand out, so that each shape or leaf or stem stands out. Great girls, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you how to paint the stem and then we're doing the, the background, the sky. Excellent, just one moment. Right, so again I paint the whole stem in the lighter green. There we go. Um, I, I, the reason why I'm showing you, I know I did show you how to paint the stem down there, but also just if you want to create like a 3D effect on the sides. Oops, sorry. Let me just do this quickly. Paint wet in wet. Let me just paint the first base color green. Right, so we can use the finer brush just to get in the little kind of corners. It's a bit tricky with the flat brush. There we go. Am I still on? Yes. And then I just want to show you that we can also kind of color blend the side of the stem 
so, so, so as to create a 3D effect. So we would just put a bit of darker paint on the one side or even on both sides and the lighter paint in the center of the of the stem. We just carry on here. There we go. Right. So now I've got the base color and I'm going to use just a tiny tiny bit of of green double dark green with my darker green not the light green mix those two up and then on the sides I'm just going to so the stem doesn't look completely flat just kind of tone it in like that there we go can you see and then underneath the petal also a bit there and on this side a bit on the sides there underneath am i still on yes there we go now i'm going to clean my brush and i'm drying it looks a bit rough but then i'm just blending it in gently and what i'll do now is i will take maybe the neon color and put that in the center just to to show kind of almost a cylinder shape 3d shape of the stem okay if it's too much you just put the excess one side on your palette and then so the sides are darker and the center is a bit lighter let me clean and dry and then carry on just gently waving the brush over the paint so that it's like nice and smoothly blended right girls so there we go so now you've got more of a 3d stem and you can just play around with your greens if you want to put a bit more green okay on the sides there we go but that's the principles a bit darker on the sides and then light in the center right so now i'm going to paint a bit of sky i'll be back shortly hi girls so i've added a bit more of the dark green in various negative spaces just because i had some left on my palette and then i cleaned my palette got clean water and i started with the sky right so the sky is just a f that lovely flat blue color because we've got a lot of tonal blending with the sunflower and the leaves i'm just i haven't completed obviously painting all the leaves because this is a learner's artwork lucky her hey. <laughs> so um yes yeah, so just to round off with the blue sky this paint does stretch very far you think you might not have enough but like i say it does stretch so then we just carry on painting a lovely remember one section we are going to cut off because this is a square format so you carry on painting this beautiful sky blue right and girls if you have got any questions at all please just ask send me your questions on google classroom and um yes please do that and then i will also like i did mention you before send you a notification when these paintings these paintings would have to probably be finished by the 13th of november today is the 5th of october so that does give you enough time because i need to frame them and then i'm going to photograph them and also do a video of all the sunflowers together 
because a whole lot of them together look so beautiful. Yes, and then we shall have them on our virtual art exhibition. Right, girls, so then you just carry on painting the sky in between here, all the negative spaces of the leaves and the sunflowers. And wonderful, so that was the end of our sunflower tutorials. Lovely, let me just take the cell phone. Right, girls, this is the end of our sunflower art tutorials. I hope you enjoyed them and I'm looking very forward to seeing your artworks. Okay girls, keep safe and lots of love. Goodbye.